Hello everyone, this is Port Nils with the Random Art Attack, and ZBrush 2019 is out. How cool is that? Yeah! And with that comes all the new features. So today what we're going to be looking at is the non-physical renderer. So what you do is you go to renderer. <laughs> I'm struggling with that word. Render. Renderer? Whatever. I'm going to just drag it over here. So here we have the renderer, and you have things like the PBR paths and things of that nature. What you want to go to is the PBR filters and then you can load one that you've made a custom one, or you can just do a light box filter. Most of these will fit almost all of your needs. So for example, let's just click this one right here. Okay. And it looks like nothing happens because you have to actually go to PBR render and then hit the PBR button right there, and then it will do a pass. And then you can see right there what it looks like rendered. And you can export these files out if you'd like to as well. Now, if you want more ones, you can just go ahead and go to the light box filter again. Let's click this and it will update it on the fly as such. Now, if you move your camera at all, you'll have to do the render again, but you can see that there's a lot of cool presets. I can see myself using this for any kind of line work I need to do, um, or any 2D graphics that I want to use basically by using 3D models. Now, the interesting thing about this is you can use all of these pre-rendered pre ones, or you can make your own. So how you do that is you would go ahead and you see in the PBR filters, there's a bunch of different F1, F2, F3 files. What these do is each one actually has a filter on top of it. So for example, this one right here is going to be um, filter material shading, and you could change that to noise if you wanted. And it's just layering these things based on different modes. So F1's the top, F2's be below that, just kind of like Photoshop. And you can change it from any of these different blend modes. So light and dark and multiply average, etc and you can play around and get what you want. There are a lot of different options, and so my suggestion is you can either look at the documentation on ZBrush 2019 webpage, or you can just kind of play around with it and get what you want if you want a very specific look. Now, me personally, all of my needs are gonna be filled with this light box filter. If I need just simple line work, there I go. If I want to kind of edit some of this line work, I don't even need to try and remaster this. I just go into these different um, folders or file layers, I guess you'd call them, and just kind of play around with them to try and see if I can't get the, the look I want. So if I want a back, black background, that seemed to work. If I want to change the opacity, you could do that. Go to this next one. This is going to be a paint layer. Let's see what this does. So as I play around with this, I'm not really seeing it do anything, so I could get rid of that one. This one right here, I could play around with it. This does quite a bit, so if I want kind of a mix between line work and non, I could play around with that, change the opacity. So yes, I want to keep that. And I just go through all these different um, things and play around until I get the edge that I want. You want to change the color, you can change the color, etc. So that's really cool. So that's the first feature we're going to be looking at. Uh, stay tuned for more features. And it was a short tutorial, but hopefully it was useful. Have an awesome day. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment below, all that good stuff. Bye, guys.